Now, when it comes to uh, moons and meteors, I've heard there's a few around. Have we got more yes. chance of seeing meteors than Jupiter's moons? Coming into a prime time uh, for the meteors, uh, later in October, around, around certainly by about the third week of October, we should start to see some quite good activity. Uh, most of it a week from a shower called the Orionid meteors. Now this one's one of the two showers we have during the year, Dave, that uh, originate from Halley's Comet. Now I'm sure people remember back to 1986, they would have seen Halley's. It was disappointing for a lot of people, but not for astronomers in the know, it was a thrill. Uh, but uh, yeah, the meteors from that comet, we, we, we go through the trail of meteor, meteoroids, as they're known, uh, every, two times every year. Once in May is the Eta Aquarius, which I may have talked about earlier with you. And the one we're coming up with this month is the Orionids. And that's uh, because they come from the area of the constellation Orion. Now most people, Dave, are more familiar with uh, the middle part of Orion, which they know as the saucepan or the pot. Now that's rising in the eastern sky. It's early October, we're talking now, probably about 10 p.m. Um, by, yeah, actually, yeah, probably, yeah, middle of the month around 10 p.m. and it's getting earlier so but by the end of the month it'll be sort of mid early to mid evening uh, so getting a bit earlier uh, but uh, the best time to observe these meteors Dave would be in the early hours before dawn is the best time and the peak morning should be around about the uh, 21st of, uh, of October but the week leading up to and beyond that should be also fairly good. When you say they come from Orion Yes, that's the perspective. What we call what we call the radiant. But in actual fact, they're just roaming around the universe. Well, the solar system. The solar system. They're following the orbit of the comet. You've got to imagine there's like you know the, the the comet's got a sort of a very elliptical orbit, and the uh, meteoroids are following the. They're they're expelled by the comet, and they follow. They share the momentum, what they call share momentum. So they follow the comet around in its orbit. So they're still on the back of. Halley's, but we can't see Halley's, we can only see... We well, can just see the meteoroid stream at the moment, yes. The comet itself now is, you know, we're way out in the outer solar system. It's probably out beyond Uranus-Neptune somewhere, so it's a long way out at the moment. But because Halley's been orbiting the Sun fairly stably for, well, th probably thousands of years, maybe even millions of years, quite likely, uh, so the meteor meteoroids have become fairly evenly distributed over that time. That's not always the case. Some comets, the meteoroids are quite concentrated uh, near where the comet is, and a good example of that was back in the early 2000s when we had the uh, Leonid meteors. That was, that's, they're coming up in November, uh, but the Leonids only tend to be good in certain years, shortly after the comet passes through. They're fairly sort of concentrated near the comet, but the Orionids not so much, although uh, the predictions are that uh, this year could be a good year, and the and the moon conditions this time this year are very favourable. So with the the peak is expected to come through a near new moon. So that little or no moon in the sky, that is excellent. That's what you want.